Everybody loves faceless badass characters who get the job done and Hunk from the Resident Evil series is certainly no exception. While not being a main character and rarely playable in games, Hunk remains a popular choice for cosplay amongst fans. However, when it comes to achieving costume accuracy, many people stumble across the issues of finding the right gear he's wearing. So if you're looking forward to dress up as Hung for the next cosplay event, this is the video for you. Alright, let's get the hard parts of the way. First thing people look for when piecing together Hung's gear is his headgear essentially and the mask. Some people believe that his mask is fictional and some believe that it's a variant of the British FM12 or the S10. So which one is it? Well, after some extensive digging, I can confirm that his mask is in fact based on the real gas mask which is the British FM12. Every part you see on it is real and exists in real life. Yes, even the cylinder piece on his nose cone. For those wondering, this canister is called the VPU and it's probably the most difficult piece of kit to find. However, the good news is, if you want to assemble a more recent version of Hunk as seen in the RE2 remake, you won't have to search the internet for a VPU, as the nose cone now has a fictional attachment which you can build by yourself. However, for those researching, you have probably already realized that the FM12 does not have accurate proportions to the in-game counterpart. And there is an explanation for that. All of the gas mask designs have been based on the version that he wore in the FMV cutscenes. Presumably to save the polygon count, designers tweaked Hunk's gas mask shape a bit, resulting in the mask shape that we have now. But the red lenses that Hong has are not fictional either. Those are real life attachments called the Night Outsers and they have a red tint to them. Finding them is possible, however the cheaper option is just tinting the existing lenses with red film if you're on a budget. The mask also has a filter on the side which is once again not proportionally accurate to the existing ones in real life. You can get away and use the base FM12 filter but if you're a crafty you can reproduce it by yourself. The helmet is by far the easiest piece of gear to find. While the FM12 will set you back a bit by a few hundred bucks, getting the helmet is both cheap and easy. Hunk is wearing the US Pasket helmet, also known as the M88. A replica version will cost around $15 on eBay, so you should have no issues finding one. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, here is the next hard part. The LBV he is wearing. In Resident Evil 2 2019, Hunk is sporting the Special Operations Equipment Alice Patrol Vest, which is dumb by the way, as Hunk's main weapon is an MP5, yet the pouches on this vest are made for 5.56 M4 magazines. Anyways, finding this particular vest is really hard. I found only one video on YouTube talking about the vest and it's not in a language I can understand. To make it worse, whenever I find a website presumably selling these, it's always in a foreign language. However, I did notice that a fair bit of Japanese cosplayers have been able to get their hands on these, so I messaged them. And their response was, uh... Uh... To say that they weren't really helpful is an understatement. For history's sakes, let's go over this vest real quick. The vest was used in the late 90s and it's very outdated by today's standards. SOE does not sell them anymore as nobody really uses them except for airsoft players. If you look on eBay, sure enough, you can find such vests, but there are a few problems. First of all, the vest with the right color palette is impossible to find. Your best bet is to buy one in tan or a mud color and then go over it and re-dye it to match it to the one Hunk has. The next issue is that the airsoft vests seen online are not the complete package. You still need to get a belt and a butt pack to match. They are both once again from SOE and are almost impossible to get. Your best bet is once again to find something to match in an online store and then repaint it. For the belt, you can get away with the generic black tactical belt. Hunk also has a radio pouch on his back, it's called the London Bridge Trading Radio Pouch, number 0246B. They are once again very old, but you do have a chance of finding one. If you can't seem to find ones, settling for a generic black radio pouch will do. There are some SOE pistol pouches on his belt to store magazines. Once again, buying a generic trio of black pistol mag pouches off eBay and recoloring them is the way to go. The elbow and knee pads are from Alta Industries. Luckily, Alta is still around and you can buy them directly from their website. However, you can get airsoft replicas and save some money. Underneath the SOE LB the Hunk is wearing the PTOA Class 3 body armor. It's fairly easy to get, however once again you can save some money and get an airsoft replica for $25. In terms of the top he's wearing, you can buy these for around $40 on eBay, but a cheaper option is to buy a black combat shirt. The pants are generic military combat pants and the boots are black tropical combat boots. 
On his left leg, Hunk is wearing the Black Hawk Omega Gas Mask pouch, and on the right leg, an old school drop leg holster. Once again from SOE, but it's all in black, so buying an airsoft one will do the job just fine. There is one more detail. Next to his butt pack, there is another pouch. Don't know what it's for, but it seems to be yet again a product from SOE, called the SOE 100 pouch, from 1996. It's possible to find one, but it's gonna be pretty pricey. So there you have it, the complete loadout of the Grim Reaper himself. I hope you found this video informative, and if you could share your thoughts or perhaps suggestions on where to find some of these equipment pieces, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.